me a bit about Pyramids. Yeah, so we're um, we're probably the largest supplier to the uh, sort of sign and display industry in the UK. So we deal with a lot of the big uh, the big printers that do work for all the supermarkets and, yeah. and retailers. That's our bread and butter work, if you like. Sure. So, but we're um, we're very big on sustainable products. So we've got our Enviro box range, which basically everything in the box is a more sustainable alternative to what the uh, to what the normal products a printer would use. Okay, so, what way? What's, what's a lot of it is there's no PVC products in there. A lot of the retailers now are basically saying they don't want PVC in store at all. So. Uh, we've been doing this for sort of over 10 years with sustainability, so we switched one of the big four supermarkets 10 years ago from PVC products in store to polypropylene. Right. So, and they even print the number five polypropylene recycling symbol on all the POS. But then slowly but surely all the other retailers have uh, followed the same path. So you're kind of pioneers in this, in this sector, yeah. 10 yeah, yeah. years ago, not many people were... No, 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 but it was all to do with, as well, just the public perception of PDC. Greenpeace have obviously had a campaign running for probably the last 25 years against PVC. And it's not that PVC there's anything wrong with the applications, it's just the manufacture of it and what happens to it at the end of life. But everything that is in that box is easily recycled. So we tend to split the range in there between polypropylene products and paper and board products. But what we've seen the last, probably post-Covid, is the retailers now are moving away even from the polypropylene because the public see plastic as plastic and they don't get the difference between whether it's going to be recycled but all the paper and board products that we've got in there now are actually PVC replacements as well and all the retailers have all got recycling facilities for paper and board behind the store whereas to recycle the polypropylene type products means you have to get a specialist recycler and for all the will in the world, people want to go green, but certainly don't want to pay more money for that. No, it's a complicated process, isn't it, to yeah. get someone to be so, yeah. so in terms of cost, is, is there a, is the, the sort of difference coming no, out? The, the sort of golden rule with the box is that if a product goes into the box, it's got to be compatible price-wise with right. what it's replacing. But what we're finding is when you replace a plastic product with a paper and board product, you've got the cost advantage anyway. So everybody's happy with it but we've had to we do things like waterproof cardboard now so if you look on the back of every bus in the uk the advertising at the back yeah. is on our waterproof cardboard so that was always on a pvc product but it's now on cardboard so that sounds like magic to me how do you get a waterproof cardboard without covering it in plastic? Well, that, that's what we said when we went to our board manufacturer we said i know it sounds strange but you couldn't do a waterproof cardboard well actually we do, if you go in any supermarket, just look what your salmon or your fish is on that gold or the silver board when it's packed. Okay. So we took the technology from that and turned it into display products for printers. And then we've sort of expanded that, that range using that technology so we have some of the products actually look like, feel like PVC even though they're made out of card. But the main thing is you can recycle it.